Good morning, everybody. TGIF. It's Friday. I'm on today to finish up the video series for this week with probably the most frequently asked questions, which is what is Fakia County? In the last nine videos that I've posted, I've been talking about designing a China roadmap. And Tuesday of last week, I did a webinar on the subject of designing your China roadmap, explaining the superpowers and giving the attendees an idea of the action plans that need to be generated with each of these superpowers. I'm going to give a link to the on-demand version of the webinar. And um, if you haven't seen it, please feel free to do so. It gives you a lot of insight on what to think about when going into the Chinese market. But on the webinar, there was one attendee who asked the most infamous question, which is, what is Fa Piao Accounting, Christina? And could you explain it very simply in two to three short sentences? I can't explain it in two to three short sentences, but I will try to simplify the concept. So first of all, Fa Piao Accounting is a concept that I feel resonates the most with people in terms of explaining it. In the Western world, you've got accrual accounting, you've got cash accounting, and then you've got the Chinese accounting system, which follows the PRC gap system, which for me is Fa Piao accounting. Fa Piao accounting, unbeknownst to many Chinese accountants, also has an accrual component um, that I will touch on. So what is Fa Piao accounting? Well, Fa Piao's are VAT invoices, so sales invoices that are issued from suppliers to you, your, your entity in China, and that you then issue VAT invoices, Fa Piao's, to your customers in China. When you're looking at the accounting side of things, you will book the Fa Piao's that you receive and the Fa Piao's that you issue. And the dilemma in China is that from a timing perspective, many of these things don't match which basically means that you will receive Fa Piao's from suppliers maybe two to three months in delay from when you have actually issued your Fa Piao to your customers for the sale of the products. Which means that when you look at your P&L, the revenue and the cost of goods are not going to match. Or if you're in the service sector, your revenue versus the cost of services won't match. And the same is in relation to your expenses. You might not get the Fa Piao's from your payroll agent, from your landlord, from whomever on time so that it matches when you actually, in which month you actually want to book it in. Now, again, unbeknownst to many accountants in China, you can do an accrual process if you have not received those Fa Piao's from the suppliers or from your you know, the GNA, your general administration suppliers. And as a result, you can do an accrual booking. The issue though, is that you have to explain to the tax officer why the Fa Piao's are, have not been received, why you've booked it. So there's a lot of maintenance work that has to be done by doing that accrual process, but it is possible. And I want to highlight that. Because again, many Chinese accountants aren't aware of that. So in brief, that's Fa Piao accounting. It's booking the Fa Piao's once you've received them, booking the Fa Piao's once you've issued them, um, and generating your P&L out of that. Uh, and again, the issue is, is that it can become a very messy and disorganized P&L if you don't do those accrual bookings accordingly. Which is why Many foreign investors have two sets of accounts to simplify the process, one which is accrual based fully and one which is based on the Fa Piao accounting that is actually generating your Chinese management reports that are then submitted to the tax bureaus. So I'm just going to check the timing on that. That was four minutes of explaining what Fa Piao accounting is. If you have any questions on it um, and you want to go in more detail, then let me know because I can make further videos all around the concept of Fa Piao's and Fa Piao accounting. I'm going to end the video there. I wish everyone a fantastic weekend. See you next week. Take care and goodbye.